day seven and uh, got my sweet hiking outfit on today. Looking kind of strange, but you know, gets the job done. Got me this far. Man, I just went down in this valley and uh, it was seemed like 10 degrees cooler. Feels good climbing up with the sun peeking out. Yeah. <sighs> good morning, day seven. Let's do this. Whew. This is nice trail. It's a crab orchard section. It's kind of a newer section, I think, that cuts straight through instead of going up and down like the old trail used to. But yeah, this is nice and soft and I can get used to this. The crows are starting to circle. I'm uh, still going through crab orchard, which is really nice. And just deer left and right. But they're so fast and so smart. The whole night experience is something that you just have to be out here to understand. They're owls, of course. Um, anyway, just got to a road. It's kind of rare. There's the crows way down there. So yeah, the whole night experience, you're way out here. And the coyotes are in surround sound. It's pretty unbelievable. Fun to listen to. I'm glad they sound really far away for the most part. You know, then there's the deer trails. And they'll come trotting by at night. And you're hoping they're deer. You'd think they'd know I was there, but I guess they're uh, not used to that. And then last night, I thought it was a deer, but I get out of my tent. I'm looking for a deer and probably 30 feet away, there's two little beady eyes looking at me. So I grabbed a stick and started making some noise and it didn't run away. I think it had a nest or something nearby and I was maybe in the middle of it because I could hear this little squeaking noise from something young it sounded. Maybe a young raccoon, I don't know. But that thing was hanging out and I thought it wanted my food, but I think it was trying to protect its kids. But I'll tell you what I keep looking for. is a bobcat. I've seen one before over in Indiana where I'm from. So we'll see what happens. I got my eyes peeled. Hop on in. Well, so far this has been a nice little walk today. Kind of just what I needed after all that road yesterday. There's some road today, not much, and then a lot tomorrow. So, I'm gonna enjoy this. This is uh, maybe some trail under construction. We'll say that. I hope it's the trail. Well, that's interesting. I've been out here since November 20th. I don't know what that means. Maybe I shouldn't be out here. Oh my God, it's green grass. <sighs> All right. Look at that. Hey guys. Huh? These are good dogs. There must be hunters nearby, huh? Hey buddy. What's up? So, just talked to some rabbit hunters. This, I'm close to Giant City State Park. He said, oh, you're good. You got some orange on. So, that made me feel good. 
I guess. <laughs> Orange makes you invincible, right? I'm coming up on a giant city lodge. They have a restaurant there. And it's probably one of the better restaurants on the trail that I could tell. They've got a uh, breakfast buffet, I think, and like fried chicken, home style. I'm maybe a quarter mile, half mile away, and I swear I can smell pancakes. But this whole carry all my food, I'm second guessing it right about now. It's Sunday too, so I bet they got some kind of special Sunday brunch going on. This is just soul crushing. So all I needed was that little trickle and just a little scoop bag and there you go. Not bad. Well, those are the cabins and I guess the lodge is up past that, but I got to keep going. My uh, ankles have really been broken in on this trip like never before. I've never done consecutive days like this and never really hiked all day, 20-ish miles every day for eight days. And uh, man, I woke up today and my right ankle was swollen, not too bad, but so anyway, I'm gonna try to get to Cedar Lake Spillway early and get that sucker propped up and kick back and get ready for this 24 mile a lot of road hiking for day eight all the way to grand tower in the mississippi lost my phone over here. I need a wider angle. I've been on this leafy, rocky stuff all day. And uh, I'm excited to see a road. I'm headed to Makanda, the town of Makanda. This is a park near Makanda, or maybe in Makanda. So yeah, there's a uh, little market, coffee place. That doesn't sound good at all right now. Oh, bed and breakfast. I'm gonna dump some trash and elevate my feet for a little while. That sounds freaking amazing. Man, this feels good. <laughs> it's like 12.30. And I've got about eight miles to the Cedar Lake Spillway. But, uh, what's the rush? Thank you, Makanda, for this awesome platform. Yeah, man. My right ankle's pretty swollen. I think some rest tonight will help it. Spent about 10 minutes there. Took my shoes off, that felt good though. All right, let's move. I don't know if that home is safe. Straight up hill, out of Makanda. Just walking in someone's field. Uh, I guess just to kind of get to where it enters the woods over here. Here we go. Just cutting right through here. This is part of the American Discovery Trail. And you can see there's a northern and a southern route. And I think this is the southern part of it. But yeah, this is just part of a bigger trail. 
I think you just gotta blaze your own path through here. Time to cross before I get hit. Man, that guy needs a shave. Historic Egyptian Trail. Okay. I think they call it through hiking because you get to a point where you're through with hiking. What up, dog? You're not going all the way to Grand Tower with me, are you? I think your family wants you back. You better go back. Oh, yeah, nice. So yeah, you kind of go around Makanda to Lurley Trailhead. Hazardous conditions on trail. I can't wait to see what that means. I think it just means there's ruts on trail, which is normal conditions on trail. I just got out of that first drop into Cedar Lake. And man, that was tough, especially towards the end of the day. So, now I'm up on a ridge, which is nice. I'm gonna follow this for a while and then drop into camp. I'm on the trail here. I was just looking at my map. I think I need to go down, of course, and then up, and then down again, and that should be camp. Whew. I'm in the home stretch, headed to the spillway, hopefully. There's no way to capture this, really. Nice way to end the day. All right, this is, uh, I guess, Cedar Lake Spillway. This lake's really big. Yeah, man. Lots of campsites around here. This looks cool. Let me go get some water. Well, that was interesting. I just ran into a couple who are local. He mentioned that they're doing a controlled burn down here tomorrow. And I'm going to get up real early tomorrow. I need to soak my feet in this water. Yeah, like, I got to take advantage of this. And there's just a campsite right over here, so here we go. All right, camp. End of day seven. Today was tough. It's definitely worth it to get to this point and to have one day left, 24 miles. Hopefully be dipping my feet in the Mississippi tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> this feels pretty good. My feet are pretty swollen. I think this is gonna do the trick. This trail has uh, been really tough. It gives you just enough to keep going. And uh, this seems like one of those moments 